In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and lived for a while among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. And for this we give thanks and praise to God. Now, friends, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. I invite you to join me now as we silently reflect upon our past days and bring those sins we know and those sins we don't know to God. Now then, let us confess our sins to God, our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are not the creatures you intended us to be. We have fled from your light and truth. Although we sing about joy to the world because our Lord has come, we still desire to be our own lords and masters. We deserve nothing but your punishment. For Jesus' sake, show us mercy, so that we may walk in the light of your love. Amen. Now, friends, to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God and has forgiven all their sins. From the fullness of his grace, we have all received one blessing after another. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Would you join together with me for our prayer of the day? Almighty God, grant that the birth of your only begotten Son in the flesh may set us free from the bondage of sin. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for our scripture readings. Our first reading today comes from Isaiah 52, verses 7 to 10. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who publishes peace, who brings good news of happiness, who publishes salvation, who says to Zion, Your God reigns. The voice of your watchmen, they lift up their voice, together they sing for joy. For eye to eye they see the return of the Lord to Zion. Break forth together into singing, you waste places of Jerusalem. For the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm, before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading, our gospel reading, comes from John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world did not know him. 
came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glories of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Well, grace, peace, and mercy be to each of you from God our Father, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. On that first Christmas, God traveled from light years away. Jesus came from heaven to earth, born in Bethlehem. And today, with all these candles on our Advent wreath burning, this is the day that we have been waiting for. Because as we've come to know, Advent means coming. A word that reminds us that Christmas is all about the coming of Jesus. He came to be our Savior. He came to teach and heal people. He came to die on the cross to bring us healing forgiveness. He came to rise from the dead. He came to overcome death. And he came to give us the gift of eternal life. Jesus came to give. To give the best Christmas present of all. You know this, right? Young or old or somewhere in between. Most of you worshiping with us this day know this. But not everyone does. It's important that we remember that Jesus did not only come at his birth, but he's coming again. So what we've been preparing for is not just about Christmas. It's also time to think about Jesus' promise to come back to us again. You see, when Jesus was finished with his work on earth, the dying and then the rising from the dead, he returned to heaven to rule. To rule over us as our king. But he also guaranteed that one day he would come back. And friends, that day, that day will be better and more exciting than this Christmas. Than any Christmas that you've ever experienced. Than any Christmas that you will experience. For on that day, Jesus will come and take us to live with him. And we will shine. We will shine through his eternal life. But here's the catch. We don't know when Jesus will come back. There's no calendar that shows us the day until Jesus comes. But Jesus gave his word. He said that he would come back. And we know Jesus, and we know that Jesus keeps his words. So today and every day, we look forward to that day whenever it will be. Many of us, we are ready right now. We are ready right now for the day when Jesus comes back. He can come right now and celebrate. But we're ready because we believe that Jesus is our Savior. That he died and he rose to win forgiveness for all of us. With faith in Jesus, we are ready for his return. But so many are not. So many have lost the meaning of Christmas. So many don't even know about the light. 
And so we share Jesus' light now in our lives. That's right, we share his light for all to see and not worry about what others may think. And to do that, we need to channel our inner Heidi. Yes, my youngest, our inner Heidi. Let me explain. Heidi loves to sing. But sometimes she doesn't exactly know all the words to what she's singing. But she does not care. She just sings it out with joy in her heart for all of us to hear. And I love that about her. There's no fear. There's no concerns about what others may think. So with great confidence, she belts out her song. And Heidi has something in common with a little boy that was close to her age who once walked around, not me, just a story I've heard, who walked around singing Christmas carols with his class as they visited a nursing home. Not in 2020. They were walking up and down the hallways, and when they arrived at the next room, they were told them that the song that they were going to sing was the first Noel. So the young boy joined his classmates in singing, and he began to belt out the song. Singing from the depths of his heart, he sang. And as they came to the refrain, the teacher noticed something about that young boy. He was changing the words. Instead of singing, Noel, 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 born is the king of Israel, this young boy was gladly singing, No hell, no hell, no hell. Born is the king of Israel. He didn't quite understand the right words, but he didn't care. He didn't know that he was wrong, but the words he substituted were beautiful and true. For the light of the world has come. That eternal light, Jesus Christ, has come and been born for you. The Savior of the world who was born to die is what we celebrate today. And that's exactly what the young boy sang about. No hell, no hell. Born is the King of Israel. You see, between this young boy and Heidi, we can learn a valuable lesson. Have no fear. Have no fear to sing out, to speak out, to share the good news of the great light that shines so brightly this day. Our gospel reading says it this way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This reading, friends, speaks of that eternal light. The light that was coming, the light that was here, was here from the beginning of time. The light that shines, shines in the darkness. The light that shines so bright, darkness cannot overcome it. The light of life, the eternal life, shines this day for you and me and all people. The message of that babe born in Bethlehem, the Savior, the only Savior of the world, is the light. The light that we get to carry. The light that we get to share. What a privilege. What a responsibility that you and I have to share the good news that the light has come. And it continues to come to us daily. Friends, he comes to us here every day. Every time you're in this, in his word. He comes to us in his sacraments. He comes to those who share the good news of the 
Savior's birth, both in the neighborhoods and in distant lands. And he will come again to judge the living and the dead. And if you remember our Old Testament reading from Isaiah, it said nothing about speaking perfectly. It does not say to worry about grammar. It says nothing about any special training. No, it just talks about how beautiful they are. How beautiful the feet are of those that lift up their voices and sing. Heidi and the young boy teach us this, just that, right? No worries, just lifting up our voices and singing praises to our God. Lifting up our voices and letting others know of Jesus and his love. Friends, this Christmas message is for you. It's for you to take to heart, but it's also for you to go with and to share. It's for you to, to go and show and talk to others about this Christ child. So that means, yes, you too must go, not just me as the paid professional, but you as believer, you as disciple. No matter the training, no matter the job, no matter young or old, you as believer have the ability with the Holy Spirit up inside you to speak to others about this great light. And yes, there even may be people in the days ahead when you gather with friends and family in person or via technology who don't know or who have forgotten the baby's birth that we celebrate. They may have forgotten, they may need to be gently and lovingly reminded that Christmas is all about the only Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who has taken their sins with him to the cross. Won't you tell them? Won't you share the good news of Jesus? Won't you say, as it says in verse 9 of Isaiah, that we burst into songs of joy? This Christmas joy is not meant to be set on. This Christmas joy is to be shared. It's not just for us to hoard. It's not just for our enjoyment. It's ours to proclaim. Ours to lift our voices up for. What an exciting day today is. For God gave the gift of himself. His own son, a child, a savior. To bear the punishment, to receive the judgment, to die for your sins and mine and the sins of this entire world. If there was ever a time to sing from the rooftops, to share without a care, it's this year. For 2020 has thrown its punches. It's been hard. It's been a difficult year filled with fun and frustration, peace and unrest, grace and hate. Yes, this year has had it all. And still we are here, gathered together in a building or in our homes to worship. To worship Jesus, the light of the world. And that's a good thing. And this is what we should do. Even though we are spread out, socially distanced safely from one another. Even though this year we may be far from our loved ones, it's a good day. A great time to worship Jesus. A great time to praise Jesus with all our heart, our soul, and might. And the time to share the eternal light, the light of the world. So friends, here and at home, let's like Heidi sing 
our praises to the Lord, even when we don't know what to speak. For the Spirit will give us the words. Let's like the boy in the nursing home shine brightly as we sing, No hell, no hell, no hell. For born is the King of Israel. Born is the light of the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And now may the peace that pass all understanding keep our hearts and minds focused on the eternal light that has come. Our Lord, our Savior, our King, Jesus Christ. Amen. I invite you now to stand and join me as we make confession of the Christian faith into the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Would you please be seated? So they can continue to be servants to you in their daily lives. 
hearts. Jesus, hear us as we pray. We give thanks for all who have gone before us. We pass on the gracious news of our Savior's nativity. Use us, we pray, to herald your birth to those whose ears have yet to hear the glorious proclamation. Jesus, hear us as we pray. Grant us mercy before our Into your hands, O Lord, we commit all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We join together for our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy
history saying that song is it was picked as a classic favorite of our organist on um, the organ for us this day. Uh, Ms. Candy Bettendorf is retiring as of today. And so, Candy, on behalf of all the sheep here at Luther Memorial Church, we want to say thank you for 50 plus years of dedicated service. selecting our one beautiful Christmas uh, carol that we get to sing this year. Friends, we do pray that you were blessed in your worship of Jesus with us this day. That's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be back here at 6 o'clock. We'll also be live streaming again at 6 o'clock. And Sunday morning we'll be back at 9 a.m. We'll also be live streaming Sunday morning at 9 a.m. That's right. Everything now from here on until Jesus comes back is going to be live streaming on the Luther Memorial YouTube channel. We'd love to have you join us here as you are comfortable or join us at as you worship at home. Uh, Merry Christmas, friends, and God's richest blessings to you. Our friends in the back, our greeters, our ushers, they will let you out from back to front. Thank you to all of you and God's richest blessings. <laughs>